Hey besties, so what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to do a pop rock tarts wrapper. So you may not see the actual wrapper today just depending on you know how long the video is because I am a newbie at this as well and I want you guys to really get how to do something in Photoshop so I'm not gonna rush this video I'm not gonna speed it up like I typically do on my Cricut videos because you know those are very simple for me these not so much because you know I really am still learning how to use this as well so I can put something together pretty quickly now you know I still I want you guys to be able to get it and uh, I also was getting help from Crafts of a Different Shade, Alicia Desiree, um, if you're familiar with her. And we do have a video that we're doing together um, that is sort of like two hours long. So I'm going to split that video up and um, show you guys some of the things that she taught in the video. But we didn't really go over the basics of how to start a canvas and stuff like that. I want to I want to start a new canvas so I'm gonna go to new and the dimensions for the pop tart wrapper are nine by six so you'll see that here for my custom but I'm gonna do a new one so you guys can see how it works so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna make this um, the width nine inches and the height six inches okay and I'm gonna title this pop tart Okay, so if you ever need to change your canvas to a different size, like say you chose the wrong one, all you have to do is go here to your image and then go to canvas size. And then you can adjust that here, whatever you want it to be. So say you wanted to go to chip bag size, you can go 11 by 8.5 and then click OK and it'll make it bigger. So you can't you don't have to start a new one you can go you know and adjust it right here from image canvas size and then it'll allow you to adjust it so i'm going to go back to nine by six okay so the first thing that i'm going to do on this is i'm going to go to file I'm going to go to place embedded and I'm going to go to my fairy file which I already have up right here and as you've seen from it I'm going to choose this background okay so I will drag it to the edge on both sides and then I'll hit enter or you can right click and click um, place okay and that'll go away you can't do really anything else until you place it there Okay, so then I will go to file, I will go to place embedded, and then I will start inserting my um, different clip art. So I'm going to start with the little mushroom house right here. I'm going to click enter to place it. Although I don't really want it this big, um, I'm just going to go ahead and place it because you can also readjust at any point. Okay, so after I place this here, I want to show you guys a few things. So say for instance, I want to change the color of one of these petals. Okay, now you have to make sure that this is selected or you won't be able to change anything. And then I'll go to my magic wand. Say I want to choose this petal right here. I'm going to go to my brush. And then let's say I want to make it this blue right here. Okay, I'm gonna add that, and you see this little Doppler that will make that will choose any of the colors for you. Okay, it'll keep switching. It's basically gonna match up to whatever color you press on. So say I want this color. I'm gonna add it to my swatches so it'll be there and I don't have to keep going back to use it so it's right here at the top so I'll go to my paintbrush so it gave me that message because my image is not rasterized so I'm gonna go here to layer I'm gonna rasterize all layers 
and then I'm done. So it was on red, I want it on blue. Okay, so you see how that changed to blue? And then let's say I'm gonna go back to my magic wand and then I'm gonna click off of it. I'll go to press another petal and then I'll go back to my brush. Now if you wanted to do several things at one time, just hold your shift. So I wanted, if I wanted to get this whole petal right here, just hold shift and then you can go back to your paintbrush and then there you go. If you have something like a digital paper, so um, I'm going to open a new file and I'm gonna just make it a standard 8, 11 by 8.5 and I'm gonna make it landscape, a background. Okay, so say something like this, right? Say I want to use this type of background, but maybe I'm not too fond of the colors, right? If I go here to my magic wand and I click on this one, let's say I want to make it pink and blue. Okay. I have to go here and I'm going to rasterize my smart object, okay? And then I could change it. I can make that blue. And then I'll go to my next one. And then I will go back to my paintbrush. Now if I want to do all of them at one time, I'm going to shift. I'm going to go back to my magic wand and I'm going to sh hold shift. I'm going to just select everything that I want to change. And then I'll go back to my paintbrush and then I'll click on it. Boom. All of them are changed. And then let's say this piece right here maybe I want every other one to be a different color maybe this blue I'm gonna click on that blue right there I'm gonna go to my paintbrush boom all of them so you can like <clears throat> and know Photoshop because I I've been there with Photoshop to where I was like no I'm not doing it it is too much I've been there so I feel the some of the ladies on my group when you're like you know it's it's too much it is it's a lot but once you get the hang of it your options are seriously unlimited uh, to what you can do and how you can change something and make it into your own so back to my um, fairy pop tart thingy so if you want to keep the same sort of a shape that your image is on hold your shift and then it'll keep it it'll keep it to the same proportion if I don't have shift then it, it can go this way it can go this way like that you know so hold shift when you're um, doing it if you want to keep the same proportion. If you want to make it skinnier or larger, whatever the case is, you can do that as well. But if you want to keep that same proportion, just hold down your shift key. Okay, press enter. And then um, I am going to add in a few more things. Place embedded. And let's say, um, let's do a little fairy. So I'm going to keep her right here for a second because I want you to see something. And one of the tools that you can use on here to sort of bring out your image. Now, you can't really see her wings unless you're literally, like, going to be up close on your wrapper when you're, you know, when you have it out. So I'm going to do the same thing with these here. But once you have them placed... Um, I'm going to rasterize her really quickly so I can make any changes. And again, just like I said with this one, if you wanted to change her little on the lady, once you click on her, if you wanted to change, you know, the 
petals or her skin tone or hair color you can do that as well you don't have to keep it the way that it is you can literally change this design is really good already very inexpensive so there's not much you want to change but say you know you had a very diverse party of uh, little ladies that were coming you can make you know darker skin you can make you know lighter skin you can make so many different different skin complexions to where it um, you know you don't have to buy each image you can you can change it yourself she selected and I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go to blending options and I'm gonna first click my first one because this is kind of my favorite so that gives her like a an outline of sort where she kind of you know look gets a 3d effect and you can play around with these to see how how you like them okay texture gives like a bumpy sort of look on it um, so it's good for something just probably not for this you can do a stroke so say you wanted you know an outline on it and that color can change as well if you go here you see how it's pink and say I wanted it to be a lighter pink or a blue color um, you know you, you can go really wherever you want with it I'm um, just using red as an example I would probably never choose that but yeah you know my point is just um, Go, get in there and play around with it to see what your, you know, what your options are. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to take the stroke off because uh, I'm not going to use it. And then Drop Shadow is another one that's really good. And then Outer Glow is another one that's really good. Inner Shadow, um, it works for this as well, but uh, Inner Glow as well. So just get in there and play around. That again is um, if you go to click on your image and you go to blending options. You can get to this from several different um, ways and you'll see that in the video with me and Alicia um, because the, that video was probably like a week ago and I figured let me just do a, a few basic things that we didn't really cover in that video so it's not like well, how do I how do I just do the basic stuff before I learn how to do you know all the um, fun stuff that she was doing in that video? Also, with the little mushroom house, um, I'm gonna go here to blending options again, and I'm gonna do the same thing. You see the difference? Sort it sort of gives it a 3D look. Um, and then drop shadow so before without the drop shadow you could barely see these like little leaves right here once I hit drop shadow it comes off the page so just play around with these blending options to see you know what works best for your your image I just wanted to show you guys the basic things how to start a canvas how to you know add an image how to change the colors if you want to and then you know um, how to sort of bring off your bring your images off the page you will see this pop tart uh, label here in that video and her show maybe a few things on there but um, you'll see sort of like the different effects that I used right here on the side the bevel and emboss, the outer glow, and the drop shadow. So if I go here, it'll show you that bevel and emboss, contour, outer drop, outer glow, drop shadow, all those different things. Um, it'll show you, you know, what I did here, and then you can always hide it if you want to, and then bring it back. Say so you're like, ah, oh, does that really work? Let me see okay yeah I do like it so you can you can play with it from here um, just to make sure you got it right the backgrounds you get all of these for one dollar and then the PNG you get 20 24 something like that for one dollar as well so once I'm finished uh, you'll see the whole set 
um, that I did. You'll see the whole mock-up that I did for this particular theme. But it, I, I did do all of it in Photoshop. So I know I knew that I couldn't really show it without showing you some aspects of Photoshop. So again, just start with the basics. Buy something cheap um, that's already pretty good quality. And then and then play around with it from there okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video there will be more to come on Photoshop I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video